Hi, I'm Laurence Leboeuf from Turbo Kid, and uh, you are colliding with Yell Magazine. I always wonder what the other side looked like. It's kind of gray and dusty. Well, I could show you. Around here, we like to do things with a little more joie de vie. We're in a post-apocalyptic world in 1997, and uh, uh, we are following uh, the kid uh, who is uh, actually uh, wanting to um, find the water source. I mean, people have been wanting to find the water source to restore kind of the health of the planet. And so we're following the, this little scavenger kid who's a bit scaredy cat at the beginning, and then we'll come up with this courage throughout the movie and uh, he meets people along the way, Apple being my character, who's very eccentric and, and out of this world. So I think uh, it's pretty much the quest of the kid that we're following through this post-apocalyptic world. Okay. It's great. I think we've, we've been talking about Fantasia since day one that we started shooting the movie. So I think it's exactly the place where this movie needs to be. So I'm very excited to see to feel the vibe, to see the moon, to hear the people, to 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 to, to finally show it to, to its public, and it's 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 the perfect public for that. How did you like working with Gore? I loved it. It's so different than anything I've ever done, and and uh, it was very impressive actually to see these special effects guys go go at it and work their magic and uh, we you know we don't have two hundred million dollars to do this movie, so it's they have to be resourceful in, in what they use and what they do and uh, it was really nice to see them work and make up as well you know make same thing and uh, and so uh, it's quite surreal to, to, to do a movie and then all of a sudden blood is everywhere and like it splatters way too much and it's like wow but what was more fantastic about it I thought was watching the directors watch it on their screen you know like and go crazy bananas over it and like so excited like they can't believe it and like I think that was magic to to watch them yeah. cool yeah. Um, do you have a favorite gore scene that you could describe or uh, well a favorite or the worst that I find I mean the, 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 that goes I go like oh my god I can't I can't I can barely watch it but it's when uh, Bagu gets his uh, well I don't know if we can say it right away but anyways he gets his uh, uh, intestines uh, like uh, attached to a bike okay. and uh, someone pedals and so you know you get the picture it's yeah. absolutely crazy <laughs> it's, but I don't know if we should say it or leave it leave the surprise but uh, you know there's, there's there's a few like that <laughs> okay. uh, I mean I'm not a very big uh, preparation kind of gal I, 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 uh, I go a lot with with instinct and with uh, stuff that happens on the moment like let's say when you're in costume and in the decor and in the, on set and with your other partners and and all of a sudden like this is where you actually live it and a lot of things happen on set so but um i mean obviously for this character she has something special that we can't tell right now but like uh, that we'll discover about her and that's why it, the physical thing was kind of important like figuring out how she was going to move how she how she was going to behave, and I think what was important was to uh, not go too over the top, even though it was already over the top, like not to go too much that it's actually like, okay, this is, we're, we're, we're off, you know, so, yeah. Did you have a big creative hand in developing her costume or anybody else's costume, and uh, I guess, as you said, her behavior? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it, that's what was fun about the project is because I know they've been uh, doing it with friends, really. You know, special effects, it's their friends since the beginning. Makeup and hair and all these people have been kind of part of their world since the beginning. So uh, we are added to that family and uh, as, a crea as creative partners as well, you know. So we had a lot of freedom, a lot of liberty. We were able to improv a lot, which was very nice for them to give us that liberty there's a costume designer who comes up with something and you can tell when the right thing comes on you that you're like, yeah, this is it. And I love this bracelet more than that. And I love this color blue more than that. Yeah, so it's like an échange of, of creation. So yeah, definitely. Okay. How was it to work alongside, alongside Michael Ironside? Well, it was, you know, it's a piece of, of uh, you know, he's got about 200 movies under his wing. Like, I mean, you can't get more experience than that. And, and uh, he kind of, I think took me and Monroe under his wing a little bit and sort of uh, 
you know, he was really like a mentor a little bit, and, and uh, that was very nice to have him around. And for the kids too, you know, they love him so much, and they got him for their movie, and he was he was great to them, and yeah, he was very creative as well. And you know, what, what, what would you say is the biggest tip or advice that he gave you professionally? Um, I don't think it's like in words like that. I think it's more like a behavior kind of thing, you know, okay. like. A, there's a calmness to him mm -hmm. that that I want to have yeah. also throughout my career and my life and yeah. you know that, that that calmness is what makes his his voice so intimidating yeah. when yeah. he plays and that, that he seems present and he's mm -hmm. there with you when he's there you know wow. he's not in his head somewhere he's not blah blah blah, blah, blah everywhere he's there and yeah. I like that do you plan on working in genre films again uh, I hope so. I mean, it's all a part of, it's all a, like, a, you know, if a great project comes along and it's great and I feel it and I, you know, like, and it's, yes, definitely. I mean, it's always something that I've wanted to do and I'm a big fantasy fan. I've, I'm going to be an elf one day, I hope, you know, kind of thing. So, I'm like, yeah, so, uh, no, but I'm just saying that but because I am a fan of, like, Lord of the Rings and all these things and stuff. So, uh, so I hope I keep going in that in that jar yeah and I hope I get to do more with these kids and and uh, follow them you know like so well, we're gonna get to that uh, question of how would you feel about like, a sequel well and yeah maybe calling it turbo girl turbo girl <laughs> well I, I I'd be in for sure yeah. <laughs> I'm in <laughs>